The federal government has inaugurated the CropWatch ICP Regional Center of West Africa, based in Nigeria, to enhance crop monitoring and bolster food security in the region. This initiative was unveiled during a workshop in Abuja, where agricultural stakeholders from various African countries were present to share insights on the CropWatch program. Ulo Maoyemachi reports. Clamor for food security is growing louder by the day as nations around the world grapple with soaring inflation and the pressing need to feed their ever-growing population. Nigeria's population is rising and the country finds itself at a crucial point in its quest for robust food production. This workshop of the year, a convergence of agricultural minds from across borders, China led the charge as a co-host with delegates from Mali, Ghana, Sierra Leone and other African nations eagerly pushing to share ideas. The star of the event, the Crop Watch program, as explained by a representative from the Chinese Academy of Science, Crop Watch is said to be a game changer, promising to elevate food sustainability across Africa. This sophisticated system has the capacity to equip scientists and experts from the global source with the skills and knowledge required to acquire and analyze agro data and information. The Nigerian federal government used the platform to reaffirm its steadfast commitment to bolstering food security and amplifying the agricultural sector's contribution to the nation's GDP with a focus on science and technology. The spirit of collaboration was the consensus here, underscoring the importance of united efforts. It is expedient that we collaborate with our sponsors and partners to make this workshop a worldwide deliberation. Space technology provides crop phenology, plant nutrition, water optimization, soil health, crop health and yield. There was also the launch of the Crop Watch ICP Regional Center of West Africa. This hub will be a training ground for agricultural partners and farmers, teaching them to wield Crop Watch satellite technology to dissect data. The program brings a fresh wave of hope to Nigerians, showing the government's tireless efforts to ensure food security. Uloma Oyemachi, TVC News, Abuja. For more updates, our reporter Ulama Oyemachi joins me on the news now. Ulama, what is this satellite-based crop monitoring technology and what is a crop watch program offering in this regard? Well, um, about today, satellite crop monitoring technology is just a form of technology that is set up to monitor crops, whether it's on the ground or whether it's in silos or whether they are packaged in a, t a particular environment. It's just like setting up you know, various points and monitoring a particular environment, saying that this is the part where you want to monitor. You want to monitor the crops, how it's going to you know, bear, f bear its fruits, how it's, you know, how the sun hits it, whether or not pests attack it, you know, what kind of disease that it faces within a particular time. So let me even break it down more using, you know, something separate, like, you know, setting up satellites and catching various channels. But the crop watch is like a program, it's like an application that sends the data that the satellite, you know, monitors. Like when the satellite catches like a pest or it catches like, you know, an incident that's happening to a particular crop, whether it's maize or, or soybeans or something, it just already sends the picture down to the monitoring device, which is a crop watch. And then the monitors, whether it's a federal government or private partners, will now tell how they can manage that kind of situation, what affects maize, how they can tackle it, and what, what's next for, for the crop. And it goes ahead to boost like food security. When they have, you know, they have mastered how to produce various foods, you know, it goes ahead yes. to enhance food security in the country. And at that event, you spoke to some stakeholders. What are their thoughts on the potential impact of this program in our country, Nigeria? 
You know, apart from even speaking with stakeholders, all the guest speakers there were very elated, saying that this, you know, program will go a long way to enhance resilience of crops. They are trying to use, you know, this, this kind of form to manage even, I dare say, climate change. You know, they are going to monitor it to see what kind of weather affects and how they can, when they can plant. Because climate change has affected a lot of things now in the country. It's not as before when you know that, you know, this time to this time is for rainy season or it's for dry season. So it's going to go a long way to improve crop resilience. It's going, it's even going to offer jobs for Nigerians because they have launched the Crop Watch ICP Center and it's like going to be like a building where monitors are going to be there, they are going to be tutors, they are going to be farmers. So everybody is going to be engaged to see how they can foster food security. And mind you, this food security conversation has been on. And even when the president came into power, he, in July 2023, he declared a state of emergency on food security. So all hands have to be on deck to ensure that you know, we get through this crisis. And Edouloma, well, thank you very much for that update for us from the nation's capital. Abuja, Ulomo Yamachi.